Eight Housemates, Planet Origins Game Fair. Wanna play Are You a Werewolf? Origins Game Fair is this awesome five-day event here in sunny Columbus, Ohio. Columbus has been host to the con since 1996, and it was in places like Baltimore and New York City before that, since 1935, making it the second oldest and second largest gaming convention on this side of the planet. You and 30,000 of your closest friends can hang out, play games, learn games, buy games, demo games, basically all things gaming. You know, I can just walk through the dealer's room looking at really cool stuff all day. Taking a demo of a game coming soon, or collect pins, get a good deal on an out of print edition, and maybe get fitted for a new hat or a new suit of armor. Yeah, the dealer's room is dangerous to one's wallet. Um, but look at all these gamers. You get people in costumes, people in tournaments. It just goes on and on. And man, let me tell you about the miniatures. Anyone who has even a passing fancy at miniature warfare can appreciate some of these models, layouts, and designs. Some are staggering. Like we saw this incredible setup with airships flying between floating islands, man. How freaking cool is that? Never mind the strings. Or dig this multi-level pirate ship. It's, it's like a dozen feet tall. See, this is this is what makes these cons so awesome. Like, this crazy attack on Smurf Village, seriously? We get a bunch of weirdos together in one room and have an incredible time doing stuff we might not have the chance to do anywhere else. I absolutely love it. Hey, housemates, are you a werewolf? But of course, what is probably our favorite game to play at Origins is Werewolf. In its many forms, some people know it as Mafia, and there's Ultimate Werewolf, Witch Hunt, Growl, but the premise is generally the same. Werewolf is this really cool social deception game. It's got a lot of flavors and variants where we all lie and kill each other, and it's really exciting. What that guy said. Basically, you know, about a dozen people are in a village and there are a couple of werewolves plotting against everyone. And we're trying to figure out who they are. The game has day and night phases. In the night phase, everyone closes their eyes while the wolves pick who to eliminate. Then in the day phase, the whole village embraces mob rule and tries to find the monsters. And there can be a bunch of other roles, but that's the important part. Are you a werewolf? I am not. <laughs> I'm definitely not. <laughs> if someone asks if you're a werewolf, you say no. No way, man. It was, it was some other guy, you know. And it's a wonderful game because it seems like there would be no information because no one says who they are. But the subtle art of learning why someone is interested in what's happening at any moment, piecing together an elaborate puzzle. See, the villagers should all want the same goals. It is the werewolf's job to sow uncertainty. Who can we trust? Who is lying? And this is what makes it such a wonderful, wonderful game. We saw some terrific games of strategy and tactics at Origins, and the complexities of negotiating a village full of maniacs is, for me, every bit as exciting. Predicting and charting the plans of our adversaries, collecting allies, laying siege when the time is right, I love it! Housemates, I'll see you at the Village Square.